All right, so now that we have done our quiz, uh, again, when you do the quiz, it uploads it to the Canvas Speed Grader, and then I'm able to grade it from the Speed Grader. And what you're going to see on your end is once I graded it, when there's something new to grade, you will see by the grade feature, there's a little, in this case, there's only one thing that was graded. If there was more than, if there were multiple things graded, you see two, three, or four. But there was one thing graded, and it's updated. So to check it, you press grade. And what you'll see right now is that um, you know I got a 25 out of 25 on the syllabus course quiz, which is good. And then I got a 5 out of 5 on the uh, practice quiz. To see my feedback, there's two ways that you're going to do this. One is if there's some feedback in general, that's this comment over here to the right. So when I click on it, you'll see me say basically, thank you for completing the practice quiz on time. I hope you found an efficient routine for uploading files to and from Canvas. So that's a general comment. But the real good comments are coming from the quiz itself. So to see the quiz, is page by page you'll come click over on the quiz and what you'll be able to see are the actual quiz comments themselves so uh, not only will we be able let me go ahead and show you what that work looked like so over here uh, here's what the quiz look like right so the work was I have a nice right triangle going I have a formula going and I said what it does so I'm gonna give you some comments back uh, well done nice right triangle yada 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 alright uh, this is particularly important right now this quiz this practice quiz is easy enough where there's not really too much wrong or right but when you start doing things incorrectly what I try very hard to do in this comment area is to tell you you know number two you know it's incorrect because number three it's incorrect because number four you have a right answer but you know step seven is wrong or something so I'll, every time I take a point away in a quiz in this comment area I try I will tell you why I took the point away and of course if you you know have a question on that you can always email me or you can even add a comment back to me you know why did you take a point away all right, and save it, and you and I can communicate that way through the speed grader, all right, or you can just directly contact me. So that choice is yours. Uh, same thing for the second page, right? You can see, you know, again, here's the work that I submitted. So you can always take a look at that submitted work. Of course, you already have it on file. So there's my submitted work for the second page, right? And then uh, here's my, my comment, right? Good job. You truly know your order of operations. Again, if anything wrong, I would do that. So let me go back to that again. So grades. When you're looking for feedback from me, there's two locations. There's a general comment over here to the right. Click on it, and you will see that general comment and when I made it. When you actually want comments on the quiz itself, you'll click on the link to the quiz, and what you'll get is more. So there's a place where you can add comments and interact with me via the speed grader, or you can come over here to the middle of the page, and you can actually look at what the quiz page was, you can actually look at what you submitted, and then more importantly, you can see my comments, especially, like I said, when you when I start taking points away. I will tell you why I took points away, right? And so that is how you get feedback. Uh, feedback is so huge in any math class. If you get something wrong, it's an opportunity to learn. If you get something right, that's always feels good, and, it, you know, and it's great. So please make sure when you do... Uh, Go, you know, when you check in, especially when you've uh, did a, a round of quizzes and you're waiting for me to grade them, you can always go to grades. Go do it one more time. You can look at the quiz, right? It tells you your score. As a matter of fact, you can see right now I have 100% in the class. There's 30 points possible, and I have all 30. And there's general comments to the right about the overall quiz, and then the actual comments I make page by page. You press on the link to the quiz itself and you can see those uh, things. So again, another opportunity of interaction between you and I, especially in an online course when we don't see each other, uh, being able to get uh, feedback from me like this is very, very huge. So hopefully that walks you through all the quizzing, how to do quizzes, how to upload things, how to work through quizzes, how to check uh, your grades, um, and how to uh, read my feedback. All right, and so we're all ready to go. So looking forward to keep working with you guys. I'll see you in some videos and modules coming soon. Talk to you later.